What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Mon Bazoo. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. When you guys are seeing this, I would be just getting back from a week vacation. I guess I shouldn't say week vacation. I'm sure it was a strong vacation, but it was for the duration of a week. If any of you were unaware of this taking place behind the scenes, I highly recommend you become a member of the Discord. Link to that is always in the description. But ladies and gentlemen, we have a ton of work ahead of us today. We obviously found out a few episodes ago that the racetrack costs a metric butt ton. So since that Previous episode, I have done a little bit of grinding. We have $32,000 in our back pocket, and I'm going to make sure that we upgrade the E36 today. But in addition to that, I would also like to go buy the electric evaporator for the Sugar Shack because I am tired of chopping wood, dude. I don't want to split another log a day in my life. So we're going to hop in the truck straight away. Should I bring the gas can? Let me just make sure that it's... Full or empty, it's full. Okay, no need to bring that with us. But we're going to hop in the truck. And uh, first, we're going to go to the Federation because we've got to purchase that electric uh, evaporator. Dude, bro, brah. I cannot even begin to put into words just my newfound hatred for chopping and splitting wood. You guys, this is going to change everything for us. It's going to make things just go so much faster. So there it is, almost $18,000 for the electric auto heater. Hopefully now we won't be chopping any more wood. Eric, what's going on, my dude? I'm not going to purchase another barrel because off camera I did collect, I think, six more. So we're up to 12 now in total. I think it's about high time we get that trailer now. So we're going to head over to Melanie, Melody. What what was her name? The the furniture store lady. We're going to we're going to go over there. See what's up with her. Part of me actually kind of feels bad for not remembering her name. So, we don't actually need anything from you. Melanie. Did I get that right? I said I said that. Didn't I? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Oh. I didn't realize we could buy a picnic table, I guess. Not implemented in the game yet. Okay. I was like, why does this not have a price on it? We're not here for anything other than this trailer. So I guess we'll just go ahead and purchase that bad boy. That's another thing off the to-do list. I got to make sure I remember when we get back to our house to just check all of our like little uh, lists and stuff we have in our shed to see what all we actually have left to do. I feel like we're sort of coming up on the end of our tasks here. Of course, we still have like the racetrack to unlock and, and a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm sure comes along with that. So very much looking forward to checking that out when we can, but we are all connected. Let's head on over to the post office next because it's been a little while since I've checked for any bills. I'm sure there's probably something from the electricity company or the power plant company i don't i don't who sends the, the electric bill who sends the utility bill you guys i guess maybe it says on here oh well there's none in there so we're good last stop though is gonna be here with the mysterious van man because we've got a ton of stuff that we need to purchase from him it's actually a good thing we got the trailer now because we could probably use this to tote um oh that's kind of nice to tote a couple of these things back to our home. So Roger, my man, how you doing? Check your bolts out first. The black bolts could be cool. I'm gonna grab those. I've only been using the metal ones as of late, but the black ones could come in handy. We're then gonna grab another seat. This will definitely be the first thing to fly out of the truck bed, but it's all good. Okay, and then of course, we're getting the turb ski kit, dude. So that includes the turbo manifold, the intercooler, and then the intake manifold as well. So we're going to grab all three of those things and get them chucked inside of the truck. I'd really hate to lose these things. I, I could care less about losing a seat down the road. And then what else do we need from this table? I think that's probably it. I do want to purchase the LSD, not the drug, you guys, the differential. And I think we're going to install that. I wanted to keep the welded diff in there just in case, you know, we finally learn how to drift in this game. I feel like the welded diff is probably the way to go there but we'll grab the lsd just in case and then let's clear out the entirety of this table everything except for the wheel spacers i really don't see a need 
for the wheel spacers just yet. But maybe once we get these adjustable rear arms and stuff, like we have these rear A arms and then these front A arms, I wonder if we can add a little bit of camber. Maybe then we would have to get a little bit more of a gap, I guess, or some spacers on the wheels. We'll see, man. We'll see. So let's grab these. Oh, I probably should have put those inside the truck. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to move these inside the truck, dude. I don't I'm so sick of like losing stuff on the road. Every single time I usually cut this out of the videos, but every single time and I'm not even kidding, we take the barrels to the Federation, I end up losing one along the way. Never fails. Never fails. And then there are only unfortunately two calipers over here. The performance calipers. So I'm going to probably throw those on the front. That's really where we would need the most braking force. And then these, again, we're going to need four of these eventually. But for now, we'll just stick with the two. These are adjustable coilovers. So we should be able to kind of tweak the height of the E36 as well. And then what else do we need from here? Roger, my man. I feel like we kind of cleaned you out. We only have $1,900 left. Didn't we start with 32000 you guys? That's kind of ridiculous. Like, we spent a buttload of cash today. We are super weighted down. But now I'm going to very carefully drive back home so we can start getting all this stuff installed. As expected, I almost lost the seat around like every single turn, but we made it, ladies and gents, and the stuff inside the cab is not happy. Okay, I think I think that was just because of the trailer. I did see a couple of comments from people kind of warning me, basically, if I'm using either the Dolly trailer over here or this new trailer. Try not to use the e-brake. It kind of wigs the trailers out for whatever reason. So we're just going to leave that disconnected right here for the time being. But we'll start unloading the stuff and then we can start piecing all the uh, pieces of the puzzle together, so to speak. A few moments later. You know, I got to think that there's probably a better spot to be putting these trailers. But for right now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave these bad boys right, uh, right behind our house here. It's not the worst spot in the world. It doesn't really make them super easy to grab, though, just because the hill is right here. Uh, not good. Not ideal. But we are ready to get rocking and rolling on the E36. So I've got everything laid out, like, kind of roughly where it would go on the vehicle. I feel like that's the best way to do things. I'm going to really, really try to uh, haul balls piecing this thing together because I would really love to go to the races tonight if at all possible, but I know that's probably a pipe dream because realistically, it does take a few minutes to, uh, you know, unfasten all the hardware and stuff. Well, didn't mean to take that bolt out. Wait, did we though? No, because I feel like I'm gonna wait, you guys, on installing the adjustable coilover set until we have the complete set. We only have the two for right now. I will, however, be installing the uh, performance brakes on the front, again, for reasons I mentioned before. But let's get that taken off. We're then going to need to take out all the bolts to the exhaust manifold as well. I'm going to try to try to do this for the most part uncut. I know a lot of you guys really like to see the mechanical side of things of this game. Oh, we've got to put this thing in the air, dude. That's going to make it so much easier. I uh, the, the jack stands are new enough to where I kind of forget that they exist. There's supposedly... A vehicle hoist. Maybe it was a mod. Maybe it's actually been added to the game. I'm not 100% sure. But I would love a two-post lift in this garage, you guys. That would be killer. So we're going to creep our way over here. And then there should be two bolts then on the exhaust. God, I can't wait to get rid of all the other rusty stuff that's underneath this thing. So if we creep on back under here, we've got these two bolts right here. That one and this one. Now that's going to do it for the exhaust. But these, dude. Oh my god, it's going to be so satisfying replacing those rusty parts with some new stuff. So let's hop off the creeper now. I think we're ready to go back up to the top side. Disconnect the exhaust manifold here. There we go. We'll just chuck that over there for right now. The ITBs do look really, really sick. But ultimately, I do think the turbo is just going to perform a lot better. So... Firstly, let's get the probably the intercooler 
plumbed up first. We'll just kind of see where that wants to sit at. Okay, I was expecting to remove the bumper, I'll be honest, but that works for me. And then shouldn't be any hardware for that. Maybe there is. I do see a hole there. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the front bumper then. There should be two bolts on the side. And then I think it just pops off if I remember right. It's been a long time, you guys, since we took this front bumper off. Well, actually, I don't think we've ever taken it off. We've only ever put it on. There we go. Those two bolts. And then I think that should be all she wrote. Perfect. The rest is just zip ties. You know how it is. Now, where does the intercooler actually mount to? Unless we need to be using the creeper for this install. I don't know. Let's, let's creep on over here. We'll see. Yeah, see that hole right there? And that hole right there? There's got to be a bolt. Got to be. So let's grab some of these rusty boys from over here. I don't think that really matters too much. Uh, eventually, eventually, you guys, I would love to have all clean hardware on this unit. But that is a pipe dream for sure. I mean, that's that's going to be a long, long ways away. There we go. Okay, intercooler should be ready to rock. Let's get the turbo manifold, or should we do the intake? Let's do exhaust first. There we be. Now we've got to get our impact gun yet again and start putting these bolts back in this thing. With the top side bolts done, we'll hop back on our creeper and get these two bolts here so we can finish the exhaust. There's that one. And, oops, hang on. Wait for it, wait for it. There it is. I wonder what happens if you try to stand up off the creeper while you're underneath the vehicle. I feel like that wouldn't end well. Let's grab these, I believe. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We don't even have that thing fitted just yet. Hang on. Let's go ahead and install that. And now we can get our impact and uh, and button this thing together. Easy, dude. Easy. I wish there was like a, a middle ground for our crouch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish, I wish we didn't have to crouch all the way down. I wish we could just kind of get a little bit squatty here. There needs, there needs to be a slob squat function. Like, it, it needs to happen. You guys, it really does. That would probably put us at the perfect height. We're not, we're not like fully buns on the ground just yet we're just elevated just a little bit you guys know what i'm saying hopefully <laughs> if not that's fine i'll just look really weird okay and then these two bolts in the front are for the bumper so now that we have the intake side on i think we're good to throw that bumper back on so we'll get that fitted up grab the impact one mo again and we'll get these little bolts Put in on the side. It must just be held up with zip ties other than those two bolts. How are we doing on time? We've got two hours. Oh, no. That doesn't seem like that long, honestly. Does not seem like that long. And I'm kind of lollygagging. So let me just figure out. Let me, let me try to collect my thoughts here. Figure out what we need to do next. I'm thinking front end. And then we'll do the rear end. Right? Because we've got... Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's best bet. Okay. So let's go ahead and close the hood. I don't think we'll need under there again. And we'll get the front and probably the rear wheels taken off as well. Just to save a little bit of time here. Especially now that the generator started. Or the com air compressor. You guys don't want to be hearing that. It's, it's not a good sound. Removing the wheels isn't really something we have to do. It just is going to let me see a little bit better under here. So we need that bolt removed. We then need this one taken out and this one should just be the three for that now for this front sway bar We've got the two there and then Just like a little ball joint on the end. There is no bolt through that. So that's just gonna connect straight up to this a arm There we be all right got all those taken out. Let's make our way now to the rear of the vehicle We'll just do the same since we're already, you know sort of on this creeper So that one there this is gonna be for the rear A-arm, one bolt? Oh god, we've got to get some maple syrup in our system. Just one bolt, I guess. That's a lot easier than the front. Okay, and then speaking of the front, actually, I forgot to remove the caliper bolts because we've got those fancy new performance calipers. So let's get those zipped out right quick on both sides. Whoa, 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 what you doing there, Skippy? Can't be doing that. There we go. All right, we're all set. Front is completely unzipped ready to go rear 
We've got the diff. Okay, kind of forgot about the diff. So this bolt there, that bolt there. The other ones are for the subframe, more or less. There we go. That one. And then we do have to disconnect the drive shaft from that differential as well. Otherwise, it's not going to be going very far. Okay, perfect. That should be everything. Hopefully, I didn't forget that much anyways. We'll take out... Oh, I forgot about the maple syrup. Hang on, hang on. We'll just take that out and get the new one chucked up in there. I'm not even going to put the bolts in that quite yet. But we've got to stand up off this creeper, dude. All these parts are getting in our way now. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna quickly hop in the pick -em up truck. And we're going to go over to the sugar shack so we can get a little bit of maple syrup in our system before we just keel over and die here. Wait, what happened to my dash lights? What the heck? Is that a... Is that a visual glitch? Um... Uh... There it is. Okay. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. Not really sure what just happened, but it's all good. My body absolutely hates me right now, dude. We've got to get this maple syrup in stat. Oh, crap. I only have... I only have three lids left. Okay, that's not ideal, but there we go. We've got that taken care of. Now let's go grab some poutine. And we should probably sleep, too, and just pick this up in the morning. I mean, the race is going to be there Saturday night as well. So it's not uh, it's not super important we get there tonight. And there's, honestly, at this point in the night, there's just no way. The next morning. Golly, what a sight to come out to this morning, dude. This thing is just in shambles. We've got to get this thing completed, you guys. So I'm going to firstly remove the original or actually these aren't the original calipers are they these have been replaced these are the oem replacements but we're going to replace those with the performance version here today so i thought why you no work um excuse me oh duh wrong side <laughs> hey no attention to me you guys all right i have no idea what i'm doing obviously I know a little bit about what I'm doing, but definitely not a professional by any means. All right, so now that we've got that switched around, what were we working on before? The diff? Let's go ahead and get this thing buttoned up underneath here. It's just going to be that bolt and this one. And then like five up in the front, something ridiculous. Got that one up there. I remember throwing a bolt as well up in the front. Hopefully, I remember what that goes to when we get up there. Oh, and there's the unreal, the air compressor, dude. It's so loud. It's just obnoxious. And then one more up there. Surely, surely we've got one more. No, that's all of them. Okay, so these go to the A arms then. I will oh, chuck that one. Didn't mean to do that. I did forget to remove the rear sway bar bolts right there. So now with that done, we should be able to remove this guy and just toss him into oblivion. Let's grab the new one and try to get that situated. There we be. Grab our impact again. I'm just going to use this bolt over here. I don't even remember what went to what. It doesn't matter. They're thankfully all the same size, but it doesn't look like I can remove the rear A arms on the creeper. So let's stand up and we'll try this one from over here maybe. Come on. Nope. Oh, dude, is this is this something where it's going to have us remove everything? Unbelievable. Hey, you know what? It's 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 fine. We've got plenty of time. I'm not worried about it. Many, many minutes later. This really isn't going at all how I thought it would, you guys. I've got like the entire brake system removed here. Maybe it wants me to remove the rear struts too? I guess I'll try that next, but I cannot get this thing taken out. Oh my God, you know why I couldn't get it taken out? Because there's a bolt on the end. I thought there was, but I thought it was going this way, not this way. Doesn't matter. We've uh, we've successfully done it now. So surely at this point, I can actually disconnect the whole thing. Look at that knuckle. What the heck kind of angle is that thing doing now? Okay, well, let's get the strut put back in and hopefully it'll correct that. It's getting better, I guess. See, at least now I know that there's an invisible bolt over on this side. So we've got that undone. We've already got that one taken out. 
Perfect. Okay, don't even have to disassemble everything. That's that's good. We're gonna grab our new one and get that hoisted up into position. Perfect. And then same thing for this other side. Gotta be careful when clicking on this stuff too because now that we're getting into the more performance oriented parts, they do have some adjustability on them. So now these are gonna allow us to add a little bit of camber to the rear if we wanted to do that. If we're trying to go drift in, I don't think we want all that much camber in the rear. I think now at this point, I should have every bolt back together in the rear of the vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount up the rear wheels again. Oh no, oh no, I had some good bolts, you guys, and I had some bad bolts. I must have used like the non-rusty bolts for something else under the rear end, but I had these, these clean, nice looking ones for the wheels. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, I, I need just a minute to swap that around, dude. That's gonna drive me nuts. Can't be having no rusty bolts on these fancy wheels, dude. That's gonna look awful. Didn't take me long to find them. We've got one in that rear A arm. So we'll grab the gross one and swap that out for that. And then I accidentally put one in this caliper. So we'll swap that one out for that. Perfect, good to go. Now we can put the nice ones back up on the wheel, as they should be. So now that we've got the rear piece back together, we're gonna creep our way back up to the front here and start removing the front sway bar, the front A arms, and then we've already done the passenger side performance caliper, so now we're gonna remove the driver side right there. Looking good, dude. In shambles right now, but it'll it'll start to uh, start to look like a car here in no time. Where is the performance one? There we go. Get that one situated. And then next, I think we'll do the sway bar. There we go. And the A-arms. I don't think these have a side, do they? No, it just says front A-arm. So, universal, dude. That's good, right? Just going to quickly reorganize a little bit. Get all the old parts moved over to the shelf. I think we are ready to assemble. So now... We've got to grab the impact yet again, hop back on the creeper, and underneath we've got to basically get all of these bolts that are kind of just scattered all over the floor. We've got to get these all zipped back up into where they need to be. So the A-arms had three bolts, if I remember correctly. The front sway bar only had the two. Whoops, right there and right there. And then over here we should have three more in this A-arm. And then I did forget already the uh, caliper bolts. So I'm gonna make sure that I do those here this time. Perfect. And the other one, we should have one, two, three, four, five bolts over there for the wheel. Did I remove any others that I'm just not remembering? No? Okay, we're good over there. Then on this side, we've got that one. And the compressor's back. It's all right though. We've got this final bolt for that caliper. And now we are done with the creeper, officially. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that right there. We'll uh, put the impact away, get our wheels situated again, grab the impact for the last time, and we can get these bolts installed. I do like to just sort of, when I'm using the impact, just sort of zip these in, and then, now that they're all in, start going around. I know you're supposed to do this in a star pattern, but it is game, after all. Why you have to be mad, it is only game. Oh my, <laughs> well, I'm about to be really mad just because of all the bolts that I just dropped there. And the last bolt, oh my God, the last bolt, there it is. We have done it, ladies and gentlemen. So now we're gonna go ahead and quickly remove these jack stands, get this thing placed back down onto the ground. Again, we didn't use the adjustable coilovers, so the height, the ride height is not gonna be any different but it should handle like a dream. You guys saw I didn't do any adjustment to the A arms or anything of the sort, so we'll save that for a later date, for a later video, I suppose. But let's go ahead and at least turn this thing on so we can finally hear, actually, I might I might slide over to the other side so we can actually hear the new Turbski setup, dude. I'm pretty pumped. Okay, so the ECU has a little button on it. Let's see if I can click that. There we go. So currently, we're going to be making one pound of boost. Weak, dude. Absolutely weak. I want to be making 
a nice, comfortable eight, nah, 10 pounds of boost seems like a good number. I feel like before we had the turbo, it was originally set on 10, but maybe, maybe we did that and I just forgot. But let's go ahead and turn it over for the first time with a turb ski, dude. Not bad. It didn't change the exhaust tone or the overall sound of it really all that much. Oh, there it is. Okay, under load, you start to hear a little bit of the uh, boost creeping in. You can definitely hear it. Wow, dude. Wow. Okay, so in cabin or in car, I guess, you can definitely hear the blow off valve. I don't know if it's a diverter or if it's blowing off to to the atmosphere. But it's got a good it's got a good sound. There's literally no reason for us to go into town right now, I don't think. Uh, we can grab some maple syrup, I guess, while we're in here. But I want to take it onto the pavement just to make sure that, uh, you know, it's not too squirrely. We don't have to get new tires. I absolutely adore that sound, though. It reminds me of my, uh, my GTI, my first GTI, man. That was a good car. It was actually a hunk of junk, but I made it into a not terrible car anyways. It ran. It's at least better than my current Golf that does not run. Golly, dude. It's, I mean, boot scoot and boogie. It is getting it. It is riding around getting it. Let's, uh, let's grab ourselves a poutine and a maple syrup and we'll make our way back home. Wait, uh, wait until tonight. Then we can do some racing. Tonight is the night. You guys, tonight is the night. Oh no, it's raining. Oh, bummer. It's not gonna affect our performance, I don't think. But uh, I don't mean tonight's the night we're gonna beat Tom successfully, because we've done that quite a few times now. But tonight is the night where I finally remember to collect our prize for having beat the Evo. But we've gotta, of course, go around and talk to everybody. Uh, how you doing tonight? Hey, by the way, I think your Koenig has a massive oil leak. Oh, never mind, it's just a trail of rust following you. That music gets louder and louder every time. All right, let's go ahead and claim that prize. What the heck is this? I've gotta get away from the music just so I can inspect this. Oh, a lip spoiler. I don't know if I, tell you the truth, I don't know if I like that any more than the stock one. I kinda dig the third brake light even though we know it doesn't illuminate. Also just realized we have a taillight out somehow. Has that always been like that? Anyways, we're gonna throw the lip spoiler, even though we're not gonna install it in the rear of the vehicle right there. I don't think it'll fall out. And then let's go ahead and race Tom again, since we've got the Skrilla for it. And we'll see what happens. I've, I've definitely got a good feeling about it though, since, I mean, now we're boosted, but we were beating this guy long before we had 10 pounds of boost flowing through this engine as well. So we'll line up. I don't even know what gear I'm in. Okay, I was in neutral. That's the, the one downside. Whoa, 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 Tom, what are you doing? That's the one downside of racing in third person. Tom, 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 Tom. No, Tom, Tom, dude, are you joking? Well, at least we just got six grand. He made me miss my checkpoint. He literally rammed into the side of me and I've just hit a sign. Rammed into the side of me, made me slide out and I missed my checkpoint. After I just said that we beat him so many times before, Unreal. Okay, note to self, don't ever start in third person unless you know for sure what gear you're in. I was in neutral. That, uh, yeah, that was bad. But hey, again, at least we got six Gs now that it's Sunday again. I am definitely looking forward to the electric heater so we don't have to chop any more wood. Hopefully, we'll have 70 Gs here in no time. But I think that's where we're gonna wind down this episode at for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.